welcome dear friends my name is Cindy St. Martin and I am an angel therapist and healer holistic healer for the mind body spirit and soul and you're watching my weekly angel oracle card reading for the week of August 24th so I thank you for being with me you bless me by watching and sharing my videos and I hope you had a wonderful week last week and this week will be just as wonderful if not better we are entering the last full week of August and the summer has gone by so quickly and I hope you had some time to celebrate or be out in this wonderful wonderful summertime weather and season and longer days and we're coming up to Labor Day and so some say it's the well it's the unofficial end of summer and the children are going to start going back to school i know my grandson's going back to school on wednesday and he's excited and they're getting their last hurrah down by the jersey shore this weekend or this week and uh, and so i hope they have a great time but okay so before i go any further i will select one card from three different decks i'd already called upon the angels the archangels God and the Ascendant Masters to be with me during this reading. So because of Law of Attraction and my intention, I cannot pick a wrong card. So I'm going to begin this week's reading with the Angel Power Cards. And we'll see where first card for the week is. It's a little rainy here today. I hope the weather is beautiful where you are. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. We'll see what our first card is. It's the Four of Gabriel. And it says, time for a celebration. Abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Not much explanation there, but it's time for to celebrate. You know, sometimes uh, you work very hard and you're coming to the end and it's a cheerful, cheerful time. And, uh, you know, you don't, don't put a burden on your life or the, or the situation that you've come to because... You just surrender yourself. You step away from it. You don't need it and you don't want it. And that's even more time to celebrate as well. Okay, the next cards are the romance cards. And I'm going to shuffle them. Okay, this card won't go in the deck, so this is the one I'm going to use. It says forgiving and learning. And the card reads, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. You know, and, and we know that sometimes we hold on to what a, a person did in our lives. And we, we say, um, I, I can forgive, but I can't forget. Well, to me, anyway, if you still remember it, you're not, for, you didn't forgive it. Because forgiving is releasing it and let it, letting it go. You know, and when we hold on to any negative energies from our past, it, it affects anything we do, any positive energies. It actually blocks it because when we hold on to negative ener energies, our karma, we, we tell God in the universe, it's okay because I, I, I keep thinking and accepting negative energies and negative thoughts in my life, so continue to bring them to me. And we don't want that. We want to surrender and forget about it and think positive, loving energies. That's what we put out to God in the universe. And then God and the universe says, gives us more positive, loving, wonderful things. So surrender it. Let it go. Your past is the past. Let it be. Let it go. It has nothing to do with now or your future. It's These were lessons that you had to learn. And so learn them and move on. You know, when God presents us with negative people, it's actually a blessing. 
You know, when someone shows me a negative person, I go, oh, thank you, God, for blessing me. Thank you for showing me who this person is so I can no longer spend any more time or energy on this person because this person does not belong in my life. So I surrender him or her to you, God. Help them to continue on their journey, and I wish them peace, happiness, and love as they travel through their life. So if you think of things like that, and then you can surrender and let it go. The, nobody can hurt you unless you allow them to hurt you. No one has power over you unless you give them power over you. Why would you surrender your power to somebody else, especially to a negative person? Why would you do that? Not at all. You don't do that. So you dismiss it and let it go. It's like, thank you, God, for showing me who this person is. You blessed me today by showing me the red flags and showing me who this person is. I now know this person needs to move on to somebody else because it's no longer worth my time and energy. So that's what you want to do. So forgiving and learning. Forgive and learn. Learn this is not what I want. Not what I want. <laughs> I want something better. And that's what you want to think about. And that's going to increase your, your romance, uh, anything. Don't be afraid to walk away with anything that does not serve you in a positive way. Walk away. Just walk. Okay? So we're going to go, the next cards are the tarot cards. And we'll see what they have to say to end out our week. You know, once we forgive and learn, we release and heal the past, then it is a time for celebrations. And then we're, we, we're uh, in abundance of rewards and things like that, like the first card has said. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. And the last card set is the King of Air card. And it says, speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional uh, considerations. Sometimes we're afraid to speak what we think or feel. Because we're afraid we're going to hurt someone. So we deny our feelings or we lie about them. Now, let me ask you this. <laughs> Do you hurt someone more by lying or by telling the truth? Me, personally, I think you hurt someone by lying, not being truthful. And again, when you lie or mislead someone or tell someone what you think they should hear, uh, now, I'm not talking about being uh, ego behind it. Your intent to be mean and nasty or hateful or spiteful to someone else. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about standing in who you are. What what you are in this and who you are in this lifetime. And standing up for yourself and what you believe in. People, aren't, people may not like that. But you're telling God in the universe, and here you go creating your karma again. You're telling God in the universe, this is who I am. I present myself to the world. Send me people who understand me, who get me, and who will care about me. Send me like-minded people. But when you stay in acceptance of people who are not of, of your thinking and who you are, then you're keeping that door open to send in more people that w who think like that. So you want to stand your ground and do it in a loving way. When you do it from your heart, that's what God sees. God sees that you did this because you love yourself and you did it from a lo loving, kind heart. How the other person receives it is their karma, is their business. If they see you being mean, nasty, or whatever, then they create that karma. That's the type of person that they will continue to attract. 
but you do it from a loving heart now of course if you do it from you want to get back at someone revenge or you're angry at them when you use the ego that's your karma too then re revenge will happen to you uh, you know and so and anger you will continue to be ang angry and things like that you will continue to attract people who make you angry people who make you want to take revenge so you want to dismiss that so speak your mind with confidence especially when you're forgiving the past or releasing and healing the past you want to speak your mind with confidence maybe seek out some professional advice maybe you want to see a healer like me or you know talk to someone uh, you know do some research online anything that's going to help give you the confidence that you need to speak your mind and you want to balance mental and emotional consideration so here you're trying to forgive and leave uh, and and learn from the past you want to balance that because when you do that when you get that all settled down here then it's gonna you're gonna have time for celebration you're gonna celebrate life you're gonna celebrate yourself how wonderful you are and you will be rewarded for your hard work the time that you put into something the effort that you put into a relationship or anybody now it's telling you to release yourself from burdensome situation here we go forgive <laughs> forgive and let it go that's releasing yourself from that so that forgiveness card that goes along with this these cards really tell a really powerful week this week and that how you can be wonderful by speaking your mind in a most loving way forgiving letting things go you know you don't have to prove yourself to others you just have to be who you are okay you don't have to be in your face trying to trying to prove that you're right <laughs> you don't have to do that just be yourself speak wisely confidently and powerfully okay and then the last cards are the Archangel Michael prayer cards and we'll see what our prayer is for the week okay this card wouldn't go in the deck so I'm going to use this one it says write about your thoughts and feelings and it says thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight blessings and healings sometimes when we have to speak our mind Maybe write our thoughts down what, what we think, you know, because and when it comes time to speak our mind, we might like our mind goes blank <laughs> and we totally lose it. And so when you write your thoughts and feelings down, you know, this helps also for healing, anything, forgiving, healing and loving and forgiving. And that's what you want to do to that. So this, I think this uh, prayer card from Archangel Michael really goes well with with our reading as too so well i thank you again for being with me you know you always bless me and i invite you to visit my website at cindyshealing.com there you'll see everything and all the services that i provide you can connect with my um social media uh, 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 uh website sites <laughs> Drew, see there I drew a blank there <laughs> and, um, and you can connect with you with that you can also see my specials for the month of August they're almost over take advantage of them um, they're listed below but if you uh, send me a message saying you saw my my video I'll give an extra five dollars off it's a great 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 deal to take advantage of that and maybe if you're confused or you're struggling with things in your life you can't let go uh, you know, it might be a very good idea to talk to a healer either with myself or with somebody else and we could do it through Skype through over the phone or if you're in, in your, my area come and see me. Okay, so uh, it's a wonderful opportunity uh, I think to take advantage before the month ends <laughs> and every Wednesday night I have my live web chat and I hope you can join me this Wednesday um, it's at 8 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. You just go to my website at cindyshealing.com and click on the live chat link. And then you can join in. You get a free reading from me. You connect with like-minded people who will encourage and bless you and support you 
you know, if you mention you're going through something, you'll get a lot of encouragement. We get people from all over the United States that come and even all over the world. So you never know who's going to show up on Wednesday night. We do have regulars that come every week. And before the chat, before the live chat starts, uh, people are talking to each other in the chat room and welcoming each other and showing lots of love. So I hope you can take advantage or remember to come. If you join my contact list, uh, I will send you reminders. So until next week, I say thank you again. You are powerful when you're in the knowing. We have God, the angels, the archangels, and the ascendant masters behind you. You are powerful. There is no stopping you. So until next week, lots of love and blessings from me to you. And I wish you namaste. Bye-bye.